Good evening. It's now two days since the Corinna and Bimbadeen ski lodges were swept away in Threadbow. The painstaking search through the rubble continues tonight. Rescuers saying the chances of finding any survivors are now infinitesimally small. Reporter Sean Hewing joins us now from Threadbow. Sean, what's the latest state of the search? Tragic news tonight, Tracy, as we cross to us. Word just in that rescue crews have discovered another two bodies in the rubble of the disaster. What will happen now is once they've retrieved those bodies, they'll be placed onto stretchers, placed into an ambulance, which will then travel down to the road below where the fire station is located. The stretchers will be placed into the garage there and uh, they'll remain there until they can be transferred to the temporary morgue at Cooma Hospital. With me, I have Fire Brigade Inspector John Danny. He's in charge of the Fire Brigade teams on the hill. John, uh, what's the latest? Well, as, as you suggested, as you, as you, as you stated, uh, they've located those two bodies. They're working at the moment, the Fire Brigade New South Teams with Police Rescue and other emergency services in trying to extricate those bodies. Where were the bodies found? They were found down in the lower portion of the the uh, slip area, the collapse zone. Were they found in the vicinity of the, the two earlier bodies? Uh, no, it was, it was remote from the, the other bodies. It must be a moral dilemma for your crews. Uh, on day one, the, well, there were cries for help, uh, but your crews worked under orders that no individual attempt be made to rescue those people. Uh, it must be very hard. I think it's hard on all emergency service workers, but in a situation like this, the safety of the crews uh, the rescue crews are paramount and in an, an urban search and rescue situation which this is a, a, a very good example of any uncoordinated attempt um, could further cause collapse could cause further collapse um, further endangering any victims right uh, it must be i mean your crews are very experienced and although they've seen a, a lot of these sorts of accidents they're only human it must be a sinking feeling every time they find one of these victims Oh, sure, definitely. And there's always the concern at the back of your mind, and, and in a way, that's a good thing, I think. But if your training kicks in, um, this is what we are trained for, such situations, and you get on with coordinating, communicating, and carrying out your job. John, are there relief crews on the way for the weekend? Uh, what we've done with the New South Wales Fire Brigade, we're working, we've got enough uh, staff down here to work our own relief on site. So we're working in crews for eight hours, uh, while we've got a uh, crew standing down for eight hours and rotating them on that basis. Fire Brigade Inspector John Danny. As you've heard, it's been a long day here at Threadbow, and given the latest information, it's going to be a long night ahead.